Hello, this is Robert Lightfoot. I have a PhD in sports medicine and right out of those two degrees. One in mas a master's in culinary arts and one in bachelor's in see, business management and accounting. Um, I was injured in a car accident 22 years ago, which left me with one, one arm to a drunk driver. Uh, for off and on for the past year, I've lived in a homeless shelter. Before then, when I was right after my accident, I studied a little bit of drug activity to find out what would numb my arm from phantom pains, and the only thing that worked was cocaine. But I have been drug free and alcohol free for 19 years. And now I got a job working here as a van driver. New Visions Council Bus. Before the accident, I have the, got a PhD in sports medicine. I was Mr. Nebraska for three years in 90, God, what is that? 91, 92, and 93. And in 94, I was going to go after Mr. Universe and got in a car accident with a drunk driver. He was 19 years old. And that took care of my bodybuilding up one morning and decided I didn't need it anymore and flushed everything down the toilet and two hours later got a knock on the door by the cops. I think I'd have got rid of everything. If not, I would be sitting in prison for a long time. When you're ready, your body will tell you because I got a buddy that just finally quit smoking. He's been smoking over 30 years. And he woke up one morning and said, I ain't smoking no more and threw me his last pack. Your body's got to have it. Your body and your mind's got to be all in one place before you can quit doing what you're doing. In my years of bodybuilding, I was making anything between three to five million dollars a year and then go from making that to 933 a month. It's pretty hard to make a living off of it, which it is. I don't know how anybody could do it. Especially when you go to job, and I let this go to a job interview, you pass with flying colors and they see you in person and they go, now how can you do the same job as somebody with two arms? How are you supposed to answer that question? You can't. You just do it even harder than what they did. Mind, body, and soul. And, well, see, I had an outer body experience too. I wanted, my grandfather's passed away three months before my car accident. And all three of them were up there when I was floating around, basically. And one gentleman that was standing on the front of the boat, he turned around and looked at me and goes, You're, you have a purpose in life, and I can't tell you what it is, but you will find out sooner or later what that purpose was. And when you do, then we'll be ready for you. Until then, you got to go back down to your body. And this guy was every color of the rainbow I could think of, and that's the only person I could think of was God. Um, and if, when you think that your life is down and out and everything else, you'll find somebody like I did. And she changed my life. She gave me a son. They're not here right now. They're over in Africa. Visiting family. And trying to get back here because when she went over there, her visa and passport went out. So. They've been there for nine years. But soon they'll be home. They'll be home next June, so I'll be happy. Again, let's see. We were together five years. Best time of my life was the five years. She didn't look for the outer body, she looked for the heart.